Hey, welcome to this tutorial. This time we are going to learn how to play some drum and bass patterns with the PO12, including the aim on break. So, for all who doesn't recognize how the aim on break sounds like, we are going to listen first to a sample of it. For this tutorial we will need 6 free slots. We will begin by deleting 2 of them in order to fit the aim on break. And don't forget to set your tempo to 170 bits per minute. Now, let's translate the aim on break musical notation into a 16 step sequencer. So, starting by the kick drum, we are just going to set it in these positions. Now, it's time to set the snare drum. Next, the hi-hat. and duplicate that layer with the right symbol. And the last detail is going to be this open hi-hat. Let's move on to the next empty slot to make the second part of the aim on break. Then again, set the kick drum and the corresponding steps of the sequencer. Now, take the snare. Set this sound at the same steps of the snare drum in order to make it sound more like a drum and bass snare. And tweak it until you get that sound. Set the right symbol at each 16th note. And finally, as our last detail, we will put this cowbell sound here. For a little preview of the result, change these two patterns repeating 3 times the first one, followed by the second one just once. Ok, now it's time to move on to more average patterns, so take another slot and erase it. Then set the kick drum at the following positions. And set the snare at each two measures. Um, also here I recommend you to copy this pattern into another slot in order to save time for the next one. Now we are going to choose this close hi-hat and set it at every 16th note, but in my case I will leave out one step in order to promote some musical diversity. Repeat this pattern with the right symbol and feel free to tweak it until you like it. Now we can say we are done with this one. Let's choose our fourth slot. Set the clothes hi-hat for each measure. And tweak it if you wish to. Now select the right symbol again. 
and this time we will make a second phrase over the pattern. Copy this pattern into the next slot. Um, remember that drum and bass is a fast music genre that needs more than one bar to fit melodies. So that's why we will change these two patterns and add some bass. Since I don't recommend you to use the PLs of default bass sound, we are using an effect instead. As you may hear, we have already a nice bass line. But if you insist and still want to play with this bass sound, we can still create a melody over the first bass line. So, for our first bar, I'm gonna set the bass sound in these steps. And now we will search for the melody we want to do. Don't forget to lower the tempo in order to get more accuracy in the notes. Once it's done, let's go back to 170 bits per minute. For the melody in the second bar, I will use this lead synth sound. In addition to that, I will use this LFO effect to get the notes a little bit more separated. If you chain these two patterns together, you will get a more musically natural drum and bass loop. And finally, choose your last slot. This one will have the most complex pattern, yet the most fun to do one. Select your kick drum and record it at the following steps. Now set the snare here and here. Do the same with the open hi-hat and tweak it to merge it down with the snare. Now set the right symbol at each 16th note. And reinforce it with this little guy. Now choose the noise sound and set it as an offbeat of every 16th note and then tweak again until make it sound like a shaker. This beat has some ghost notes, so we will choose this sound to emulate a second snare. Set it in these places to make it sound like a drum roll. And tweak again for a more natural sounding.
We are done for today. Now we are ready to perform. Thanks for watching. If you want me to do another tutorial like this one, just let me know in the comments. See you in the next video, and as we say in Spanish, mi casa es tu casa. Goodbye.